Hello, this is Dr. Nikki and I'm really excited to be back here with you today. I'm talking about kindergarten fluency in this video and giving you lots of different ideas to teach fluency through five. All right, so what I want to do is just share some ideas with you about building fluency through five. And you absolutely need, must have, should make, or download five frames. Five frames are the linchpin of fluency for kindergarten. Fluency is through five, and so a five frame does exactly that. Now you're gonna have some children who are ready for um, fluency through 10. They already know their facts through five. But just know that in terms of the grade level, fluency is through five. So here's a five frame, okay? It has one, two, three, four, five frames. And um, what you're gonna do is you just tell kids stories, or you say, you know, there's, there's two pieces of candy um, on the counter, and then Maria put two more how many does she have on the counter now? Or there were four pieces of candy on the counter and Mr. Bob sold three. How many are left, right? Or there were two pieces on the counter and Maria um, put three more on the counter. How many does she have now, right? So the five frame is where you tell stories from. I use these five frames and I use these counters. These counters are silent. They are foam counters. I love them, right? Because they are quiet. But there's also these counters and this is magnetic. So you can see you can do, you know, different things. You can hang this on your magnet board and tell stories from that. You can just magnetize the back of this and then hang it on the magnet board or just have the magnets like this to tell the kids the stories. Same idea, right? They're two color counters. They're magnetized and you just tell stories. Um, and then there's the subitizing flashcards. You know, you could pull these off of any internet site. You just Google subitizing, S-U-B-I-T-I-Z-I-N-G. And um, you, you, you flash these to the kids. You say, oh, how many, you know, what do you see? And the kids say, oh, I see one and one and that's two. You say, what do you see? Oh, I see one and two and that's three. Oh, what do you see? I see one, okay. And notice I put the dots on them because they're colorful and I like the dots on them to be colorful, so. Um, then the next thing you want to do is you want to do how many more. So um, I play games with the kids. I'll say, oh, I have one counter. How many more do I need to make five? And then the kids count out one, two, three, four. One and four make five, right? And so we do that a whole lot. We play how many more. Now remember the standard says how many more to 10 in kindergarten. Um, but you have to start out with how many more to five because five is a fluency level and five is um, scaffolding the understanding the way to 10. And then we play, I play a lot with Uno cards. I love Uno cards and you can get them at the 99 cent store and they're colorful. And so the kids pick an Uno card and they start with that Uno card and then they work with their number line and they say, oh, they say I'm at four. So they put their marker, their counter, their magic stick, whatever on four. How many more to five? Oh, there's one more to five, right? This is the abstract level. This is the concrete level. When you have them draw it out, that's the pictorial level. Remember, you always want to teach concrete, pictorial, abstract. That is the way that you want to teach kids how to do it. Concrete, pictorial, abstract. Concrete, I'm doing it with the counters. Pictorial, I'm having them draw it out. Abstract, I'm having them work with a number line. You know, you can have kids make their own number lines. You can buy number lines. I like these number lines because they're laminated and you can have kids circle on them and do all kinds of things in a race. And, or you can use these number lines. These are number lines from um, Lakeshore actually. And it's the same thing. You have the kids pull a Nuno card. Oh, I pulled five. How many more do I need to get to five? Oh, you don't need anything to get to five. Five plus zero is five. So, you know, you might have this, have them illustrated on the number line, and then even say the equation or find the equation. Remember, equations, um, they're good to do with kids in kindergarten, but they are not mandatory that kids know how to write them. And um, talking about that, there are some cards. Here's some cards that I have. You can make these. You can also buy these. If you buy the fluency kit, they're in the fluency kit. And what you do is the kids pick a card and say this card shows three plus two. And then they match the equation with the card. 
Okay, so there's a bunch of different games that you can do with your children. You can play the five frame with the counters. You can do five frames with the magnets. You can do subitizing cards. You can play the how many more cards and you can do the match me. Um, those are just five ways to start teaching fluency in kindergarten. In the next video, we're gonna talk about five more ways to teach fluency in kindergarten. Thank you.